Detroit to Marquette, from North Campus to South, from Lansing to DC, that we are ready for free public tuition for all. Yesterday, we had a million student march across college campuses nationwide, stating that education is a right and demanding tuition-free higher education. I have a message for everyone involved with this movement. I empathize with you. The increase in the cost of a college education regularly outpaces other forms of inflation, sometimes by a wide margin. And many of you have found yourselves working toward outrageously expensive degrees that won't help you find a good job after you graduate. But can education be a right? Can education be free? Let's consider civil rights. The Constitution gives us the right of freedom of speech, and that means that the government can't prosecute you for saying unpopular things. Well, yet. Your free speech doesn't place a burden on anyone else. The fact that I'm making this video doesn't do anything to harm anyone, no matter how vehemently they disagree with my points. If you don't like this video, you can turn it off. We can both go our separate ways in peace. Real civil rights protect your ability to live your own life and make your own decisions, as long as you aren't harming anyone else. But a right to a free education places a burden on others. Institutions of higher learning cost money to operate. Campuses are expensive to build and maintain. Educators must be paid for their time. So there's only two ways to make education free. One would be to enslave educators, put a gun to their heads, and force them to teach you whether you can pay them or not. Send the SWAT team to the companies who print textbooks and seize them by force. Threaten to shoot any construction company that refuses to spend at least some percentage of its time and resources erecting dormitories and classroom buildings. Well, I hope everyone watching this will agree that that approach is morally wrong. The other approach would be to tax everyone at a higher rate and have the government pay for your education. And that's not more moral in any way, shape, or form. The violence and the greed is hidden behind a colorful flag and impressive buildings that look important. But at the end of the day, if your neighbor won't or can't contribute to pay for your education, the state will send men with guns to their houses to take them to prison. And if they resist, they will be violently seized and kidnapped or murdered. Or maybe the government can just print or borrow more money to pay for your education. Well, that's just another form of theft because it devalues the dollar, making everyone poorer and worse off. And the government has already printed and borrowed a lot of extra money. In the final tally, what you're advocating is violence and theft, and you should be ashamed of yourself. But don't forget that the state has already intervened to make college more affordable by taking over student loans. This has increased the number of people entering higher education, and the low interest rates on these loans hides some of the cost and reduces selection pressure to keep costs down. On top of this, our free public education system inexplicably wastes 12 years of your life making you memorize trivia and then releases you into the world with no marketable job skills whatsoever. This places the college degree as an artificial barrier of entry to the workforce at an age where you could be building valuable experience. And minorities who are trapped in hideous, mandatory government schools in bad neighborhoods are the hardest hit. In other words, the government created this mess. If your degree can't pay for itself within a reasonable time period, the solution isn't to steal from others to solve your problem. The degree was or is a bad investment, and I'm sorry you found yourself in that situation. You know, I almost lost my shirt because I bought a house immediately before the real estate crash and economic downturn in 2008. I know what it's like to be backed into a corner. I really do. But think of it this way. The system that we have in place now was created by social engineers who wanted to improve public education and make it more fair and equitable. The system has failed you in a truly epic fashion. So why do you want to make the system bigger and more powerful?